Hey guys, Andrew Bennett here, and I'm so excited to show you this. Um, you probably remember our old classic favorite, the little tiny camper, beach camper looking thing that we had a while back with Trekker Trailers. Well, guess what? We have a core housing solution version of that very same model. Only, we're using our SIP panels that we uh, build our houses out of. So this thing is no wood to rot, incredibly insulated, incredibly strong, super lightweight, and uh, yeah, you can't wait to show you. So check it out. First of all, the color is great. Obviously you can see, this is my house here, so we copied the same color. As you can tell, I like it. Uh, we've got it hooked up to Bruce and Sherry's Jeep right now. They've been pulling it. Pulls like a dream, but guess what? 2,300 pounds, that's it. 2,300 pounds for an actual house quality built camper, right? So it is a camper, doesn't have like a bathroom and stuff in it, and I'll show you more of that on the inside soon, but it's built like a house. It's gonna last for generations, you're not going to have maintenance, you're not going to have upkeep, and you got that great insulation factor. So let me walk you around a little bit. So we've got, um, because it's a camper, we have a 12-volt system on there for running the lights and like USB and charge ports and stuff. So we have a little solar panel to keep that battery charged, and it's all automatic. You don't have to deal with anything. Keep your deep cycle battery going, so you'll always have your lights and stuff working. 15-inch uh, wheels on there, so lots of ground clearance, good for off-roading, uh, really stout. Uh, we have our leveling jacks built in here. Um, I didn't level them down here, but uh, they're on there, of course. And uh, let's see if there's anything on the front. So, yeah, so we have a 30 amp service on the front. You can see the electrical panel here. And we have our cord coming out. Our air conditioner up top, which is, by the way, that air conditioner is like six times too big for this unit. It's just what we could get. Um, they don't make a real small one, but that's not bad, especially here in Florida, right? So come on, check this out. Hey, so we have this useless but cute as hell front porch, right? Because you can't really put a chair on it. But you know, we end up with our other one. It ended up coming real handy when we wanted to set like a cooler or put a bicycle back here. So I thought about getting rid of it for practical purposes, but really cute and actually does serve a purpose. Um, check out our portal window door for tongue and groove. Come on in, check it out. All right, so we're about seven feet tall in here, a little under seven feet tall in the center, uh, which is plenty of height. Um, keeps you low for traveling and stuff and for getting under branches and bridges and things and less wind drag, but still plenty tall enough to stand up here, especially for me, right? Everything's a two-story. So, and we also have our floor plan that I've been using for years in our gypsy wagons and campers, is we have a queen bed up top and then another queen bed on the bottom. So this will sleep four adults um, so it would be great for camping with friends, with kids. Um, you can actually fold up the bed underneath to get rid of it and use it for storage. If you wanted to throw bicycles or inflatable kayaks or whatever, you got plenty of storage there. And then there's still plenty of headroom here for sleeping very, very comfortably. Again, super insulated. So we've got the air on in here now. It's like, <laughs> it's like an ice box. Man, it is so cool in here. So we, have, we do have a sink, so we include a sink. I don't know if you remember on some of my um, campers, we'd do an outside kitchen. On this one, we just did an inside one. So it's a little easier for traveling if you're traveling on the road. So we have an inside sink and we have some cabinet space. Um, and we're using the same high quality cabinets that we use in our houses now. I have a little fridge here. And I always do the fridges that have the um, separate freezer, just a personal preference of my own. Microwave, refrigerator. So just the basics as far as uh, being able to prepare food. And we've got these nice drawers on here. I don't know if I'll do the drawers on the next one. I did it on this prototype, um, but in my opinion, I think we lose a lot of space. So I may just do a, a box that opens up for storage. Might be better, but yeah. So this is it. This is our new Core Housing Solutions Beach Camper. Uh, this one's on its way to, where's it going, Cherry? Texas? I think it's going to Texas. Mississippi. Mississippi, that's what it was. Bruce knows the answers to all those things. It's going to Mississippi. They're coming here tomorrow to pick it up. I can't wait to see the look on their faces and when they get to uh, pick up their new camper. And I can't wait to build the next one. They're on the way, buddy. These are gonna be um, available probably if we get an order anytime soon, we can have one done for you in about a month, uh, depending on how booked up we are. Uh, it's a quick build, a lot of fun, and can't wait to see these out on the road.